Hi, I'm Sarah from Codecademy, and today we're going to talk about a fundamental concept in computer science, loops. Life, like programming, is full of repeating routines and subroutines. Every day we wake up and brush our teeth. We don't just brush one tooth, we brush each tooth in our mouth until we've brushed all of our teeth. In programming, when we know we're going to use a routine again, it's good practice to put that routine into a function so that we can reuse it. When we want to repeat a function or subroutine multiple times in a row, we can use loops. The other day, I wrote some instructions for frosting a cupcake and put them in a handy function, frost cupcakes, so that I could reuse them whenever I needed. Say I need to frost three cupcakes in a row. Okay, no problem. I can just call my function three times, right? But what if I needed to frost five, ten, or even a thousand cupcakes? Here's where a loop saves the day. A loop allows you to continually execute the same code multiple times, or loop through a routine, until a stopping condition is met. There are different types of loops, and each programming language has their own syntax. But all loops have one thing in common, a stopping condition. This condition is checked every round, and the loop will continue to run until the condition is reached. If our goal was to frost four cupcakes, the loop stopping condition would specify to continue to frost cupcakes until four cupcakes have been frosted. So our loop would run frost cupcakes four times, giving us four fully frosted cupcakes. Loops allow us to tell the computer where to start and provide a condition upon which to stop, all in a few easy to read lines of code, which is super sweet.